YouTube. This is Southern Prepper One. Today I'm going to talk about water, water, water purification. I think it's the most important topic that I've talked about so far. This is life or death right here. In the United States, we take for granted clean water. Travel the world, third world countries, the water's terrible. People have many diseases associated with unpure water. So this is something we need to address. Our mind is not uh, geared to address this because we take for granted. We turn the tap. We go to the store and buy a case of bottled water. But right now we really seriously need to address this as survivalists or retreatists or just the average person out there that relies on a public water. It could go down at any time for any reason. First thing we're going to do is we're going to address boiling water. Boiling water is by far the best method, uh, safest method to use. Boiling water takes fuel though. So in a, in a situation where fuel is critical, um, you're going to have to use that fuel sparingly. The best thing to do is boil your water. Uh, the experts agree that probably one minute at a, at a good boil will purify everything. Um, so boil it for one minute. If, if fuel is scarce, you know, do the one minute and you're done. Um, after boiling your water, make sure it cools sufficiently, especially if you have children for that, uh, they don't get burned. Um, next is rainwater. Rainwater, if you have tarp and it's raining, go out there and collect some water. Typically it's pretty safe, um, but you can use other methods to uh, purify it, but uh, don't forget about rainwater, collecting rainwater. Next is water purification, iodine tablets. <clears throat> Highly recommend this. This is a short term item. This is not to use long term. Um, I don't know the health, uh, the, this, the health reasons not to use it because it is a chemical, so you just want to use it short term. Put this in your bug out bag. Uh, and you can use it. Typically what you're going to do is you're going to use two tablets per quart. You're going to put the tablets in. You're going to let it sit for five minutes. Very important. Take it and shake it with the cap slightly loose so the water gets onto where you're going to put your mouth. This way it will disinfect anything that's on the mouth of your canteen or whatever you're going to use. If you don't do that, your water inside your canteen will be purified. But any water or residue that's on the outside where you put your lips, you could actually get sick from this. So five minutes, shake it, water will get onto your, your rim, let it sit for 30 minutes, and then drink it. Next, we have a, a there's a lot of models out there, a lot of manufacturing. Um, the one I prefer is the Sweetwater by Guardian. Uh, it seems to work good for me. I have two units, and these are for my bug out bags. So if, when I'm done here, they need to get back in my bug out bags. This is the total unit right there with one filter. So you can see by the size, you can fit this in your bag, no problem. This is the unit right here. It's very simple to use, set it up. Uh, anyone can do it. Uh, recommend it. Make sure you get some extra filters. Get them now. This filter right here is good for 300 gallons. So it's not a long-term use. It's for an emergency or a bug out, 300 gallons per filter. Next method, a lot of people probably have never heard about it. Um, this is called solar water disinfection. Um, it's not the best method, but it's definitely a method that will purify water in a survival situation. Do not use a glass container. You want to use a plastic, clear plastic container. What you're going to do is put the water inside the container. You are then going to shake it, shake it and oxygenate the water. Then what you're going to do is refill it up so it's full to the very top. Take this, put it on a slanted material. The best thing they've, they've found is the metal roof. If you don't have a metal roof, probably any type of roof, any type of car hood, but you want to keep it tilted so the sun, UV rays penetrate this plastic. What they're going to do is that UV rays are going to kill the bad bugs inside here and the heat it creates inside here will kill the bugs. It's not the best method, but it will work. If you have no other method, this is what you're going to use. If you're in the in a hot jungle environment and it gets really hot, you'll probably be able to do this within six hours. If you're overcast, you might have to save it for the next day. Typically, you want six hours of, of good sun to kill everything. It is a method. A lot of people don't know about it, but it is a method. Next is the bleach method. This gallon of bleach can purify 3,800 gallons of water. 3,800 gallons of water. So it's worth having some. What you're going to look for is just straight, regular bleach with none of the scents added. You don't want all the pretty scent. So regular bleach, 3,800 gallons. What you're going to do for this is you're going to take two drops, 
per quart. Very similar to this, two drops per quart. If you're using really dirty water, you might want to add an extra drop or an extra tablet. But on, on the whole, two drops, two tablets per quart. What you're going to do is put the two drops in there, let it sit for 30 minutes. You will smell bleach. Uh, if you don't smell bleach, the water is probably very dirty. You might need to add a little bit more. You're going to have a little bleach taste. Pretty much if you're on city water, pretty consistent what city chlorinated water is going to be like. Highly recommend this. 3,800 gallons of pure water this one gallon can make. Next we have a nice system uh, put out by Monolithic Water Systems. Highly recommend this. This particular one I bought through, I think, Cheaper Than Dirt about a year ago. We ordered a bunch. I wish I ordered a few more. Um, I looked up on their website just recently and they still have them. $23.50 for this system right here. $23. There's no reason why you can't afford this. Um, if you have some loved ones that aren't on board right now but you really care about, go ahead and buy an extra one or two. Put them back. Um, when things happen, you can give it to them. Uh, or maybe if they're starting to get awake that they need to prepare, buy one for Christmas coming up and give it to them. What you're going to get basically is one ceramic filter. Uh, I think it takes it down to 0.5 microns, so it's a, it's a good filter. Um, you're going to get a, a pre-filter, and you're going to get the spigot system. Basically, it takes going to take a little bit of work. They now you can buy the buckets from them, just regular buckets, and they'll even pre-drill the hole. But they're like twenty dollars for two buckets. You can go down to the supermarket and uh, get some two gallons. You can make this out of five gallons. You make it whatever you want. Basically, what you're going to do is you're going to drill a hole in this bucket and you're going to insert the filter. It comes with all the washers. Insert the filter. Take your pre-filter so if you have any slightly dirty water it will get caught on this and you can rinse this off. Go ahead, drill a hole in the next bucket so it will come through. The water will come right through here into your clean bucket. If you, if you only have this filter and you don't have the spicker to the bucket and you only got one, one hole Hang it from a tree, clean water is going to fall out of there. This unit is nice because you can put it at your house, <coughs> pour the water in, open your spigot, and get clean water. This particular unit with the one filter will do a gallon an hour. So, you know, if you have a family of four, use a five gallon bucket and uh, you top it off during the day. You're going to get a lot of water. Potentially, you can get 24 gallons of water out of this, of pure drinking water. Next we're moving up to the Berkey Light. Probably, there's probably a million videos on the Berkey Light. This is a particular one I've used for years and years and years. We haven't used it in the last few years because we, are on, we have a well now since we've moved back to our retreat. Um, but when we were, at, were in the military on, on base housing, water was terrible. So we used this and it took all the chlorine out and it tasted much better. This particular one is very similar to this. You have a place to put the water. This one will hold two filters. Uh, we bought some extra filters. These are the black Berkey filters. Similar to this one, they'll go in here. This one's set up with two. Each of these filters will do 3,000 gallons of water in their lifetime. So you're talking 6,000 gallons of this unit right here before you need to replace the filters. Pour the water in. This particular one with the two filters will do 3.75 gallons per hour. So it's, it's a lot more uh, than this one. This one is about $200. This one's about $23.50 and you find two buckets. So there's no reason why you either have this or this. You need to have some type of filter system. This is very easy to use. It uses gravity. It doesn't take much energy. So I highly recommend getting one or the other. We take for granted water. Everybody just turns on their spigot. But having pure water in a survival situation is going to be good for you. Plus, it'll be good for your neighbors or friends. You can use it as a charity thing. You might not be able to pass out food to people going by, but you might be able to have a two-liter container and hand it to them with some pure water. It, it might make the difference of life and death. Thanks for watching.